Now, do they have the same, you know, you said they taught, they plan a team system, but do they have their own kind of celebrity there for basketball? You know, are, once you've kind of established yourself as the leading scorer, the leading rebounder, uh -huh. and things like that, do are you kind of seen as that by the fans? Yeah. Are you a favorite? Oh. Uh, do, do you get cookies made for you? Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. They? The fans are there are great. They're, they're very, they're very loyal, some of the fans. But you get, you get a couple fans, they... They have signs made for you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so no, but no creepers, right? No. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. It's well, you know what? I did have a stalker. You honestly. did. I did my Which very first year this? in Germany. Okay. My very first. Year. This girl, literally, this girl would. Uh, I would look outside my window, and she's like just standing. No. Out of the sh yeah. No lie. Did she have a sign up or something? No. Or? She would just. I was see her. I'm like, okay. She was standing by here like yesterday. Why she still she waiting here. for you to come out? I guess so. Did you ever see her? On well, the you know what they, yeah, she knew because she knew the times our practice are. So okay. she knew at this time I have to come out because I got to go to practice. Right. So she would just be waiting. And then what would happen when you came out? I just say hi and keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> How long did that last? Uh, a few months. Really? Yeah. Did anyone ever intervene and say, "Look, you gotta leave Jerry alone"? No. Man. No. No. Wow. She just I mean, she didn't do anything crazy. She would just stand outside my house. That's still kind of creepy. It is. <laughs> Even Kevin's. It talking. is. But once I found out she was harmless, okay. you know, not like she keep my car or try to break in. She would just, just you know, wait. Like, okay, practice at six o'clock. I know Jerry leaves at five thirty. So she just wanted just to wait. see you. I guess so. <laughs> Jerry, let's take it back to the, your heyday at UC Irvine. We've yeah. referenced it a lot. Um, you were recently interviewed on Fox about. You know, being used to Irvine's career leader in points. Do you remember that game when you broke the record? Uh, yeah, it was at Fullerton, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I do. Kevin's nodding. He remembers that yeah, game. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Were you aware of that you were approaching that record at the time? I know, you know, back then it, the yeah, website was wasn't very as well prevalent. aware. Really? Yeah, because people kept talking about it. And I just couldn't wait to get it done, so get it over with. Um. You know, there are so many great moments in your UC Irvine history. You were, gosh, I need to refer to this page because I've written them, I've typed them all down. But number one in career points, career stills, career assists, you know, all America, all district. Uh, did you think you were going to have this type of career when you signed on the line? I didn't. No? For real. I was just glad that I was able to come to a college that was going to take care of my schooling for four years. <laughs> I didn't. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't think that I would have accomplished and left the impact at this school the way I did. When you were when you were in high school, who was looking at you, and why did you end up signing with UC Irvine? To be honest, um, I really thought that I was going to sign with USC. Okay. It was very close, and the decider was they ended up well. They want they still wanted me to go, but they wanted me to sign a partial scholarship. Okay. And that just wasn't going to happen because there's no way my parents could afford. <laughs> Right, you know, USC. me going to USC. Right. So, um, Utah was was uh, willing to offer me. That's when Majerus was there. Right. Very but good a, program. Very good program. But I just couldn't see myself uh, being away from my family and also living in Utah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you know the weather. I couldn't do that. So I said, you, you know just, what? You didn't want to take up skiing. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, so I said, you know, I'm just going to go to Irvine. Um, they recruit me pretty well. Tali did a good job. Coach Stevens, Pat Douglas. So I say, you know what? I don't know anything about this program, but <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna do my best and see where it happens. Well, a lot of people know about it now, and right. it's, you know, because of you. So you <coughs> you get to UC Irvine. How much of a culture shock was it for you? You know, Orange County. Right. Yeah. Um, not too much. Uh, I think the biggest adjustment, you know, walking around campus. Not so many. Um, blacks, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just being honest. Right. That was a big adjustment. But uh, other than that, it it was nice, you know. Uh, I love Orange County. I always did, and um, I wasn't too far from home. Right. That was another thing. So my family was able uh, to come and see me. But other than that, it was a uh, man. I'm I'm glad that I made this move. We we often talk. Uh, we often reference, you know, the buzzer beater at Utah State. You yeah. had some other buzzer beaters, I think, Long Beach State. Um, but what are some of your, the memories that stick out when it comes to playing the game of basketball at UC Irvine? Um, 
the memories more than anything, and it's funny because me and my family talk about it, just seeing the development of um, of the program. Like literally, my very first my first year as a freshman, I could say there were maybe maybe three hundred people there. <laughs> Maybe 300, yeah. and I'm pushing it. Right. But by the time it was my senior year, sold out games. So just seeing that development was like, it, it, was, it was crazy. It was crazy. So that's that's my biggest memories, more than the Beezer Butters and the Beezer. Uh, the Buzzer Beaters. Buzzer, yeah. yeah, I can't talk right now. <laughs> uh, more than anything, it was just the, the development of the program. Now, was this something that you guys talked about as a team as your crew went on? You know, you, we talked off air that, you know, you know, Jordan Harris and Stan DeBronos, those were guys on your team. When you started to notice the fans coming to your games more, were you guys aware of that? Did oh, yeah. actually feed off Oh, most crowd? definitely. Yeah. You know, you look up the standards like, wow, like more people coming. You know, <laughs> I, I see this what winning does. It brings fans. We were very uh, well aware of it, and, um, you know, we were winning. See, when you're winning, you know, the fans going to come. That's right. just, it, it is what it is. You know, they're going to come. So we were just focusing on winning, and we knew – the potential that we had to and um yeah it just you know it boomed now i'm gonna touch a sore spot a little bit okay. but um the ncaa's yes escaped us yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 you know i and i can't oh, remember man. you know that was 98 <clears throat> to 2002 i believe and i actually wasn't here for two of your years mm -hmm. um but what was the Big West like at the time? Who, you know, was it Long Beach State? Oh, it was Pacific, wasn't it? Uh -huh. That was kind of your biggest competition. Pacific, Long Beach. Pacific, Long Beach, yeah, Santa yeah. Barbara. Um, just that, oh, man. Yeah, I hate talking about it because, <laughs> you know, we, we knew. We knew. Everybody knew we should have been in that tournament, right. especially with the record that we had my senior year. Right. For me, to this day, I don't, I mean, we should have been in there. You know, we should have got a bid, but, you know, small school, you know how it is. Yeah. But, um, yeah, those dang uh, conference tournaments just wasn't, Kill wasn't it, huh? kind to us. Yeah. You know, you do so well during the season, and, you know, you got to fight to win it just to get in. I thought that was ridiculous. But so you're, would you say you're against conference tournaments? I am. Yeah. I am. Especially, you know, if, if you won the conference, why... You know, why do you need to play the conference tournament right. just to it get does, in? It does seem to negate what you've done the entire exactly. season. Exactly. But, you know, if you look at, you know, March Madness now, the, they have a whole week dedicated to conference tournaments. Right. So it's big money. That's true. That's um, true. You know, and I don't, I think the Big West tournament is the same thing. It's moved to the Honda Center now. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think. Which I wish we could have been playing that because mm. over there, it, I'm sorry, it, it was terrible. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. Did you did you play all four or did you say, did you play your conference tournaments ever in Reno? Because it was in Reno. I think one one year. One year. It was in Vegas one year, I think. I think uh, I think one year in Reno. The other times was in uh, was Anaheim. It Anaheim yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's nice. The players get to play at the pond. Yeah. It's, it's real nice. It's actually called the Honda Center now. Honda Center. Well, yeah. where the I'm old school. Yeah. The pond. <laughs> yeah. And I still call call it the pond too. Yeah. You know, okay, I'm going to get off that, but is there anything that you would want to do over, you know, whether it's academically or, you know, you got your degree um, or um, athletically, is there any moment you'd want to re redo? No. no. No? No regrets? I, would, I just wish I had more eligibility. <laughs> I miss it here. I love, I love, man. I love, I love Irvine. I just love the memories, that, you know, just the stuff we did here. So it was well, nice. What what would advice would you give to a player who's considering signing at UC Irvine? I would say it's going to be a great experience. I mean, why why would you not want to come to Irvine? You know, you got the beaches, nice weather, beautiful people, great program. You're going to be well taken care of when you come here. So it's it's it's, it's like vacation. Did you it's live nice. down at the beach while you were I didn't. here? I did. Almost, I almost did. Okay. Good thing I didn't, because you know I you probably would have lost focus or something. <laughs> might have not got your degree. Right, right, that too. <laughs> but um, you know I'm close enough to go. So yeah. Yeah. Well, so once your overseas career is over, what uh -huh. do you see yourself doing? Um, uh, maybe doing maybe coaching. Really. Assistant coach. I don't want to be head coach. No, it's a lot of drama. It is. Yeah, it a is. lot of politics. It is. I, I I want to be more. I'm like hands. I want to do more one on one. Like mm -hmm. I'm a point guard, so I like to develop point guards. Okay. 
go through drills and stuff like that. Are you doing any of that now, either through church or, you know, with? Actually, I, no. No, no, not yet. I pretty much just train. And play basketball. That's exactly. going to be your life for the next year? Yeah, pretty Work much. out, play hoops. Well, we're going to have to come, we're going to have to have you come and play uh, open gym. I will be here. And, uh. I will. And fans, if Coach you have Turner never Leslie. seen, well, I'll make him let you. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, fans, if you have never seen Jerry Green play, you know, if he was before your time, you should come out. Um, when he comes to open gym, because uh, he well, I'm not as well. You're still quite a player. Yeah, I'm not as fast as I was, and <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You've got don't pump me up too much now. <laughs> too much, yeah. Jerry, uh, thanks so much for being on the show. It was great talking to you and catching up with you because yeah, you know I've seen you over here. the years here and there, but it was really nice. It was to great being here. Thanks for inviting me. Well, Hopefully, it won't be the last. It better not be. I hope not. <laughs> Fans, we're with Jerry Green on the Blue and Gold Report. We will be right back with Jonathan Jonathan Hamill on KUCI 88.9 FM.